Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. The fall movie season has already kicked off, but there are so many great movies coming out that I want to talk about it. This is my fall movie preview on Paul's trip to the movies. Now I've got 10 movies that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you. So we're going to go in alphabetical order. So I hope you have a pen and paper handy or take some notes on your phone um, so that you can uh, be in the know of what to expect come award season, what's happened at the festivals, and when we can see these movies and where you can watch them. So first up is A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. If that already sounds familiar, I bet you can guess that this is about Fred Rogers. It stars Matthew Reese as a journalist who is interviewing Fred Rogers, who is played by Tom Hanks. I mean, one of the nicest actors in Hollywood, playing one of the nicest men. I really love this uh, resurgence of why we need Fred Rogers more than ever right now, because of the kindness and the joy that he brought to this world. This is directed by Mary L. Heller, who directed last year's Can You Ever Forgive Me? And I think that this is going to be just fantastic and more proof about why Tom Hanks is one of the best actors working today. It arrives in theaters November 22nd. My next movie is also based on a true story. You're going to see that happening a lot in this list. It's Bombshell, and it stars Nicole Kidman, Charlize Theron, and Margot Robbie in the true story about the takedown of Roger Ailes at Fox News. He is played by John Lithgow. I love all three of these actresses, and we can already see the tension that they deliver in their like stunning performances. Uh, there's just this brief teaser that we've seen, and it looks they look flawless. Uh, it arrives in theaters in December. My third movie is Doctor Sleep. So Stephen King fans should be excited for the, his latest page-to-screen adaptation. It's his follow-up to The Shining, with Ewan McGregor playing Dan Torrance, who's all grown up, but still haunted by his childhood demons. There will be a lot of flashbacks to what we kind of saw in Stanley Kubrick's film, but don't expect a retread of the book, which is very different in tone and story than The Shining. This arrives in theaters November 8th. Number four is The Irishman. This is Martin Scorsese's three-and-a-half-hour look at the life of mobster Frank the Irishman Sheeran and his connection to the death of Jimmy Hoffa. I read the book I Heard You Paint Houses, from which this is based, and it was a page turner. I couldn't put it down. It stars a slew of Scorsese actors like Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, just to name a few, this film will be a masterpiece. I can already sense. It arrives in theaters November 1st, but then it will be streaming on Netflix November 27th. Now, I'm so excited about Judy. It stars Renee Zellweger, who looks flawless as Judy Garland. And one of my gripes about biopics sometimes can when they can be just this generic wash of someone's life. But that's not the case in Judy as this takes place in winter 1968, uh, when Judy arrives in London to perform a five-week sold-out run at the Talk of the Town. So we're seeing a very limited look at Judy Garland's life, and I think that will make it a little bit more specific in its storytelling. Renee Zellweger is already getting rave reviews. They are talking Oscar for, for her performance. It, was, uh, it premiered at the Telluride, Telluride Film Festival. It also played at Toronto Film Festival. And it's going to be released in theaters September 27th. Not to be missed, especially for us Minnesotans, uh, as Judy Garland was born here. All right, my next movie uh, is going to be pure entertainment. And maybe it's something a little different. It's called Knives Out. And it's, you know, the classic murder mystery. It's from writer-director Ryan Johnson. He did Star Wars The Last Jedi. And he has an all-star ensemble with Chris Evans, Daniel Craig, Jamie Lee Curtis, Christopher Plummer, and Tony Collette just to name a few. Think Agatha Christie vibe, but with a topical commentary to go along with it. Uh, it arrives in theaters November 27th. Now my next movie, completely different than everything I've mentioned so far. It's Last Christmas. Now, I'm a sucker for a good Christmas movie, and this looks to check all the boxes. It stars Amelia Clark, you know, who we know from Game of Thrones, who looks to be down on her luck around the holidays till the charming Henry Golding from Crazy Rich Asians swoops in and really fills her with the Christmas cheer. I mean, how good does that sound? Uh, it has a script by Emma Thompson, it's directed by Paul Feig, and it features the music of George Michael and Wham! Last Christmas. It, uh, expect it to be in theaters November 8th. 
All right, my next movie comes out Christmas Day, and it's Little Women. Now, there are no shortage of adaptations of Louisa May Alcott's literary classic, but when Greta Gerwig writes and directs an adaptation, you buy your tickets as soon as possible. Her cast is Saoirse Ronan, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, Meryl Streep, Laura Dern, Timothy Chalamet, do I need to go on? I mean, I'm sure you already are buying your tickets right now. I hope this will be fantastic as Little Women comes out Christmas. Now, for something completely different than that, this is Marriage Story. It's the latest film from writer-director Noah Baumbach, starring Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson as a married couple going through a divorce. This looks powerful, it looks emotionally draining, and it is getting huge praise for the two of them coming out of the Toronto International Film Festival. It also stars Laura Dern, Alan Alder, and Wallace Shawn. It's going to get a limited theatrical release November 6th, and it will be streaming on Netflix December 6th. Netflix is really pushing for some awards consideration this year, and I'm all for it if it means Marriage Story and The Irishman, amongst a few other movies I haven't mentioned yet. My final film today is going to be The Report. It also stars Adam Driver, who uh, leads this film. It's based on a true story about a CIA cover-up following 9-11. It looks tense. It looks compelling. It looks like it's going to stir, you know, that visceral gut reaction. It also stars Annette Benning, Michael C. Hall, John Hamm, and it's from Amazon Studios. A uh, little known fact, screenwriter-director Scott Z. Burns is also from Minnesota. So those are 10 movies that I'm looking forward to. If there's also going to be Joker, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, and Jojo Rabbit, which just won the Audience Award at the Toronto International Film Festival. So you'll definitely want to take an, uh, keep an eye out for that one. So what are you looking forward to this fall? I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message on Twitter, Instagram, at Paul's Movie Trip. What movies have you excited this fall? I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to, of course, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have new reviews of movies like The Goldfinch and Hustlers and my appearance on Twin Cities Live. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for more reviews, some Hollywood headlines, and the information on the Stanley Kubrick retrospective currently going on at the Alamo Draft House. Thank you so much for watching my fall movie preview here on Paul's Trip to the Movies.